Hey again, Eric here from LED Grow Lights Depot. This review is of the Illuminar iLogic 8 full spectrum with UV plus far red LED grow light. Stick around for the full review, par testing, and my final thoughts on this light. Here we go. Illuminar's iLogic series is one of many series from Illuminar. This series includes the iLogic 6, iLogic 8, and iLogic 9. Each contain two lights, full spectrum and full spectrum with UV and far red, with the options of 330 watts, 630 watts, and 1000 watts. And a note, for brevity, I'll refer to the iLogic 8 full spectrum with UV plus far red in this review simply as iLogic 8. The fixture is 41.9 by 39.4 by 4.9 inches and it weighs around 50 pounds. The unit must be assembled out of the box, which requires you to slide in each bar to the driver mount and plug them in. While there is not an onboard dimmer included, you can purchase it separately. There are in and out RJ ports on the side of the fixture that allow you to hook up the dimmer or a controller for full controllability. The fixture comes with an RJ cable. According to Illuminar specs, the Illuminar iLogic 8 draws 630 watts at the wall. At 116 volts, I received a reading of 695 watts with an amperage of 5.99. The Illuminar iLogic 8 is rated for 120 volt to 277 volt applications with plug types available for each wattage. When running several of these fixtures, you have the option to daisy chain the power supply with Illuminar's cable iLogic cord system. The total light output of the iLogic 8 is 1800 micromoles per second with an efficacy of 2.85 micromoles per joule. This light output was measured from 380 to 760 nanometers, so it includes UVA and some far red. There's a little bit of light that falls outside of this range that the EPAR meter does not pick up. Expect up to a strong 4x4 footprint at 8 to 12 inches above the canopy, or up to a weaker 5x5 flowering footprint at about 24 inches above the canopy. The iLogic 8 will veg a 4x4 area at around 50% intensity or 6x6 area at full intensity. At 630 watts, the entire fixture emits 2,148 BTUs per hour. The iLogic 8 comes with a 5-year manufacturer's warranty, is IP66, DLC, ETL, FCC, CE listed, and can be used for both home and commercial grows. The iLogic 8 Spectrum is made up of high-end Osram and Samsung diodes. On the bars, you will find full spectrum, deep red, UV, and far red diodes. The diodes all dim together and are not on separate channels, so don't expect to be able to use far red or UV by themselves. The combined spectrum color temperature is 3350K, so it'll look like a slightly warm white. The diodes are expected to last over 50,000 hours at L90. As a side note, here's a little info on UV and far red. UVA ranges from 315 to 400 nanometers. UV diodes in LED grow lights are always going to be UVA diodes. UVB diodes are very expensive and burn out quickly. UVA diodes in LED grow lights will usually be around 385 nanometers, and UV helps to increase quality and aromas via trichome production and can increase shoot and root mass. You might hear far red and IR used interchangeably, but technically this is incorrect. Far red is between 700 and about 750 to 800 nanometers, with pretty much all far red diodes hitting right around 730 to 740 nanometers. Near infrared starts at around 750 nanometers, so when growers say IR, they really mean far red. Far red is a critical element in the Emerson effect and in combination with red light, boosts the photosynthetic rate which increases plant growth. To my knowledge, Illuminar does not have PAR charts on this fixture, so here are my PAR readings that I took of the iLogic 8 in a 4x4 Gorilla Grow tent. This first reading is going to be at 36 inches. Right in the middle, about 615 ppfd. I'm going to move the meter to the back. Looks like around 520. And the corners will all be around 470. And this other side, about 545. So 36 inches is showing you the penetration you'd get. I do not recommend hanging the light at 36 inches for flowering. However, this would be a good veg height. You can see it's pretty uniform as I move the meter around. 
All right, next reading is at 24 inches. Center reading, about 8.30. This backside looks like around 6.35. Corners, about 5.60. And this other side, about 6.75. So a little uh, less uniformity here, but starting to get some higher readings. Just moving it around so you can see how those numbers change. Bring it a little closer to me. And back to the middle. All right, next reading, 18 inches. So that center readings about 975 in the back about 690 corners about 585 and this side about 775 so 18 inches would be the highest height that you want to hang it for flowering but you can see as we get closer I'm gonna be getting some better numbers here so uniformity is dropping a little bit, but the readings in the middle are looking pretty good, almost hitting 1,000 ppfd. All right, and my final reading is going to be at 12 inches, right in the middle, about 1190. Back edge, about 718 or so. Corners, about 590. And this other side, about 890. So you can see most of the readings here are at or above 1000 ppfd. If you got even closer than this, say eight inches, those numbers would jump up even more. And I'll briefly explain here after the readings how I think my readings are a little bit lower than what they should be based on the meter that I'm using. All right. And that sums it up. Now, my thoughts on this LED light. The fixture is really high quality and does not feel cheap or flimsy. Assembly was easy and it came together in about 10 minutes. However, it took me about as long to hang up the fixture using the four ratchet hangers. It would be easier if Illuminar included short wire hangers that go to a single point so that you only need to use two ratchet hangers and not four. This would make leveling the fixture a lot easier. A downside about the bars, since there's only one attachment point, is that they can slightly rotate along that middle axis when bumped, which is really only a concern when setting up the fixture or if adjusting the height. The external wires going from the bar to the driver box does not create the cleanest look, but the upside of this is that the bars can be easily swapped if one of them goes out. Furthermore, I wasn't a huge fan of the central driver box with bars running across the bottom of it. It reminds me of the old Fluence design, but as I got more familiar with the fixture, it started to grow on me. It reminds me of the ThinkRow Model V, Model W, and Model H lights, and the design is quite practical and it looks great in person. Regarding the spectrum and PAR, I like to see UV and far red diodes integrated into LED grow lights since not too many companies offer this. But it really is too bad that I did not have an extended PAR meter to pick up the UV and far red when I was doing the PAR testing. It seems that my readings were below what they should have been given the wattage, PAR efficacy, and Illuminar stated PPF reading of 1800 micromoles per second. So because of this, I would probably add an extra 10% to my PAR readings. The price of the iLogic 8 full spectrum with UV plus far red is $925 with free shipping at LED Grow Lights Depot. Now if this is out of your budget, you might consider the iLogic 8 full spectrum grow light. This does not have the UV or far red, has a slightly cooler spectrum, 100 micromoles per second less light output, is a little less efficient, but is also less expensive. We offer it for $749 with free shipping. If you want a more powerful light, check out the iLogic 9 1000 watt LED full spectrum with UV plus far red, which will cover a strong 5x5 or a 6x6 for flowering. The light output on this fixture comes in at almost 2900 micromoles per second. Overall, the iLogic 8 is a fantastic light and I highly recommend it. There's a link to this light and all of Illuminar's lights in the description. Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this reviewing popular LED grow lights. Check out our other LED grow light reviews on YouTube as well. 
Follow us on Instagram at LED Grow Lights Depot for giveaways and other great content. Link below. See you guys soon.